Here's a quick demonstration of register running in a pub, bar, and restaurant environment. Also could, could also be a gastro pub. Um, this is running on PAX hardware in this case. So here's a PAX E700, a PAX E500, a PAX E800, and a PAX A920. What's really neat about the PAX hardware is that it includes card payment, printing, and the ability to run our repos functionality, including on this uh, mobile device, the A920, where I've got card payment here, printing here, obviously repos running here, really nice table side ordering and payment device. So moving on to the E800, here's our core uh, register screen. I've got our standard EPOS functionality here. I've got a menu here where I can do lots of things. I can um, allocate customers to transactions. I can modify a stock, that kind of thing. Now, um, I've also got uh, the ability to change price lists, for example. Here I've got happy hour price list. That can also be automatically changed based on the time of day, so five o'clock. Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and order a half part of Carlsberg and a part of Carlsberg. One of the powerful things about Register actually is that it can manage your liquid stock under the cover. So as I'm selling a pint or half pint, it's managing the stock in barrels. Also similarly with wine, you sell by the glass, we can manage the stock by the bottle and obviously your spirits with, with measures. A really nice thing about the E800, it's got a customer facing display so that at the the back of it, I'm showing um, advertising images that can scroll through. These can also be videos. And on the left-hand side, I have the transaction journal. And when I'm outside of the transaction journal, the whole screen can be um, an advertising image. So moving back to the main screen here, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pay for that transaction on, on this device. So hit card. I'm gonna pay with contactless on the inbuilt payment device here. There we go, it's accepted my transaction. And it's paid and I can print a card or a copy. In this case, I'm just gonna say no. And here's my mer um, merchant receipt. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and order, and for the next customer, a vodka mixer. So I'm gonna have a Smirnoff vodka, and I want to add a Red Bull. So this shows our um, modifier functionality for um, alcohol. So um, I'm gonna add a Red Bull. There we go. Now this particular customer wants to go to a table and order some food, and I'm gonna save that as a transaction, and I'm gonna save it to table number one. So that tab is now open and can be picked up by any of the devices here. So I'm gonna show it on the E700 here, so I'm gonna resume that transaction. So uh, there it is, table number one. I've resumed it and I'm gonna add some food. So I'm gonna go ahead and add a fillet steak. And it again shows our modifiers. So we have two types of modifiers, one that alters the price. So in this case, I'm adding a sauce for £1.50. I've also got list modifiers. These are things that don't alter the price, like I want it cooked medium rare. So I've now added that to my basket. Now I can save that back to the tab. And now, now it's what asking me ready to print to the kitchen. So as soon as I press print, it's gonna print to the kitchen printer ready for the steak to be cooked. Okay, so the customers now um, receive their food and they're uh, asked, they've asked for the bill. And I can actually print the bill from any, any of the devices, but I'm gonna show it on the 800 here. So there's the tab and I've got a print bill button here. I'm gonna hit this. And the customer's bill is uh, printed out. I can obviously take that to their table and get their confirmation that they're fine with it. And I'm going to uh, resume that tab on the A920. Now, as I said, the N20 is full functionality. I could also start a new customer if I wanted to, but in this case, I'm going to resume their tab. So there's table number one, I'm gonna resume it. I could add more products to it, except if I wanted to, but I wanna pay it out, so I'm gonna press pay. Here's our, our payment screen. I can take cash, I can take card. We've got our quick tender buttons. I can also add a tip or a surcharge. I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, pay by card. I'm gonna pay by contactless. So I've paid, I'm gonna print out the card out of the seat. Okay, thank you.